This clip is brought to you by VegasWinners.com. Get expert sports betting advice from some of the best handicappers in the world. Head on over to VegasWinners.com and win yourself some money. Uh -oh. Here they are with number one, Paul Jones. You know something, Jimmy Valiant? One thing for sure. I will sign that match. I will take the prize. And one thing for sure that you don't have, and my ace in a hole right here, Manny Fernandez, will be right there. You're an idiot! You're an idiot! And every one of these men right here will play up an important part at Star K. Look at this body here. That's right, Paul. The clock's winding down to the greatest event ever in the history of professional wrestling, Starcade. And two of the greatest athletes, participants, the smooth operator, ravishing Rick Root. Take a look, ladies. The raging bull, Manny Fernandez. You know, Tony Schiavone, uh, I'm what you call a free agent, Daddy. I always negotiate for higher price. Uh oh, wow. He's no good. He's no good. The man can't wrestle anymore. He did that stuff around that just to be trying to slip up the media. Yeah, well, oh, he got it. He got it. And now the ball and ravishing Rick Rude both have Wahoo McDaniel as Rude David tried to sneak up behind him, but Wahoo will have no part of it. But well, watch him now. They double team Wahoo. They put him now. They both start to stop away. Jones now. He goes in there with his boots. All three men stopping on Wahoo. They take Wahoo now. Ravishing Rick Rude picks it up. Look at Manny! Off the top. The burrito off the top, and still they want to pick him up again. Here they come. Magnum TA, Ron Garvin. Okay, we'll be right back right after this timeout. Dude, Magnum's all over this show. Yeah. Wasn't Shaska in that shot at the beginning? Was he? He was there with him at the beginning. I saw him in the background. All of a sudden, he's gone. The world champion knows what it's like to be involved in Starcade. And as Starcade approaches, ah, you know the world champion. What a tie. He's thinking about that, among other things. What Ric Flair knows is that it is a feeling unique unto myself to be able to walk out here and tell everybody beyond the shadow of an out that I'm not only Slick Rick, I'm not only Space Mountain. I'm not only custom made from head to toe. I'm not only everything you want to be. I'm also the world champion. Woo! Something you'll never be. And next week, when I fly my jet into Pittsburgh, PA, I expect 20,000 people to welcome the opportunity to take a look and a real world champion and the greatest wrestler today, which means Dusty Rhodes in Pittsburgh, you go down. Now, I'm also taking my jet whoo, to Omaha, Nebraska. And Omaha, let me tell you how it's going to be. Magnum TA's going to walk in from one side of that building, and I'm going to style in from the other. And Magnum TA, because I am woo, the world champion, I'm going to beat you up so bad that you never challenge Ric Flair again. Starcade 86. I don't care who it is. If it's Garvin, Dusty Rhodes, Magnum TA, Jimmy Garvin, Nikita Koloff, I don't care who it is. You know. Woo! When the smoke clears, and number one walks that aisle, whoever it is better be the best wrestler he's ever been in his entire life because he's got to wrestle Ric Flair. And ladies and gentlemen, like it or not, I just happen to be all there is right now. Woo! The world champion, Ric Flair. Let's go back to the ring. What do you think? Well, another good Ric Flair interview. So what do you think about who he's going to, I don't know. Who he's going to face the star cave. Well, we know who it's not going to be. Uh, well, I, I know that off is in the ring now. Uh, but go ahead. I, I, 
I'm wondering, do they even know who he's going to face at Starcade at this time? That's my question. When he when he kind of went down the list, maybe they haven't decided yet. I don't know. Maybe he'll beat Nikita, right? The plan was. Maybe the plan was to beat Nikita, become the U.S. champion, and now I'm the number one contender. I deserve a title shot. Maybe that was going to be it. I don't know. Or We're maybe just, maybe they get the better of him. I mean, here's my I thought if if it was all going to happen the way it was originally, and mm-hmm. I don't, again, I don't know. The horsemen are going to put hard times on dusty roads again next week. Mm-hmm. We're going to watch it here. I'm so right. pumped. This is the famous parking lot attack, right? If Tully is going to be in a blood feud at that point with dusty, mm-hmm. it feels like Magnum could have wanted to avenge what the horseman did. And he goes against flair. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You took, you took what was important to me, dusty roads. I'm going to take what's important to you. The world title. Let's listen. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.